Hello everybody and welcome back to the Hunter Classic. We're on Valdebois here. We're gonna hunt uh, some Euro Rabbits and then we're gonna run over, I think we're gonna hunt some Rock Tarm again in this area. I need to go to like, this area here. So yeah, we're gonna we're gonna first see if we can find any rabbit burrows quick and then we're gonna go over there. So we have our set of burrows here. Now my preferred method of Hunting burrows, and everybody can has their own way of doing this, but I prefer to carry a tent on me. And I'll get into why in just a second if I can find a spot. So we're going to put our tent down. I'm going to actually empty our inventory further. I'm actually going to drop this, and then I'm going to put this over here. I guess I'll just drop this thing as well. Because tripods are heavy. Very, very heavy. Um. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's, that's annoying. But yeah, we don't need it. So now, get your tripod. We're going to look where our uh, burrows exactly. We've got a burrow there. I see a burrow there. I see burrows there as well. So we're going to try and place ours like right in here, I guess. We're going to enter. And now we're going to sit. We're going to wait. So I have my shotgun, my 12 gauge with the red dot. And I have... You'll hear them when they emerge because they run around a little bit before they realize that you're here and about to blast their face off. So... There, well, there's one. Then there's two. Okay, let's pick these both up. Oh, 2kg. So, 2009 is not particularly big. You're we looking for something closer to 2,300-ish, um, or 2,400 even, is kind of where we're in the range that you want. Now, I'm going to make sure to pick up as many of these tracks as I can, because, well... Rabbit tracking is a very good thing, because if you know the weights of stuff, you know whether their burrows are even hunting down or not, um, or worth hunting down or not. Uh, right? If I've got low tracking, they're not worth hunting down, because I know the biggest one in this entire burrow set is 2.2, .2 or whatever it's going to be. And I'm surprised that they go out this far. Maybe it's just had another secondary set of burrows over here. Oh, there's another one. Yeah, get some. <laughs> mm-hmm. There's this is a massive set of burrows, so we're gonna be here a while. I wanted to hunt Tarm again today. Hopefully I can actually finish these burrows off in a timely manner that doesn't mean Why do I keep forgetting to change? There's another one. One point nine. Now, rabbit burrows are a great way to level your dog for those unaware. Um, you can get a lot of XP from just sitting here and calling it. We're already up to level 26. So, yeah. Silenced. And 2.1. He's probably at 21, 46 is pretty good. We're getting the numbers up, but we're not quite where we want to be number-wise. Did I get anything? Did I get it? Oh, I did get it. Nice. There's a corpse. And it's only a 1.8 female, so he's not even going to bother checking this one, that one. There we go, we got two more of them. Here's another 2.1. Where is it going to score? 2100 on the dot, okay. Another 2.1. <laughs> we hit both of its back legs. 2.2, only 122. Again, not humongous. I don't actually have a big one. I think my biggest was 2200. Um, so, yeah, we have that melanistic we got from Pancake Day. Um, that guy was in a video, I believe. Um, but, yeah, no, never had anything actually like a large rabbit. But uh, we're about to finish this, and then we're going to go hunt some termigans. Termigans. The fart pigeons. Good night. Oh, 
Another 2.1 female. This is 21.24. Somebody's the prone into the burrow. And this is a 1.6 female, not even worth looking at. Any Ibex? Well, I mean, that is an Ibex. It's a relatively smaller one, though, I believe. Could be wrong. And that squeaky noise you just heard was an Ibex spooking, if I'm not wrong. Now that is a nice Ibex. Well, I hit him. That's what matters. Body. Well, that's a fast way to die from a body hit. 272, not as far as I was thinking, but it is a 239. I was expecting- oh, we hit him in the hip bone. Got it, okay. Why are there no Turdmigans here? I think our doggo is stuck. There's an Ibex. There's our first Turdmigan track, but I want to see this Ibex. 102 kg, we got him in the spine. His score is only two. He's smaller than the last one. It's also upside down, but he's small. This guy is smaller than the last one. No freaking way. Right there. Well, there's our first dead pigeon. So for rock charming, you're looking for 620. Oh, 0.6 is really good. It's a male. Oh, 593. Never mind. There's bird number two. I'm going to try and go for at least one more, but let's see. I am running out of time. Five forty two. Totally missed that shot. Well, it landed there. Try this again. Popped him. Let's go. I have to find a spot for my tent so I can get camping or climbing gear. I just like slide down this. I totally can. I got skills, yo. Point six. Ew. 561. We're still going to take a picture because I need a thumbnail. But, um, we're going to take the same way I took the other one and then actually mirror it in Photoshop. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, well, I hope you guys enjoyed this episode of the Hunter Classic. If you guys did enjoy it, you guys can like it. And if you guys want to notify next time I upload, you guys can subscribe. Comment down below. Let me know what you guys want to see next. But, uh, yeah, anyway, this is Magators. Bye, and I'm out. Peace.